Well, hello everybody. It has been a little while since I've been out for a ride and we're actually doing our first dirt ride of the season tomorrow. I am super excited. We're gonna get out and play on the Raptor. Uh, we're gonna go to Appleton OHV Park, which is in West Central Minnesota. We tend to do our first ride of the season there every year because they have a sandy area you can play in. Uh, it just shouldn't be very muddy. So super excited about that. Gonna meet a few people up there, uh, including my buddy Chad, who has a new machine he's gonna be bringing. So I'm very excited to see that. And uh, before we get loaded up, I've actually got a new part I wanna put on the Raptor here. I just spoke with Hermosi and he was able to hook me up with a set of SBC clamps before this ride. So I'm gonna upgrade the anti-vibe I already have, which I have the precision anti-vibe clamps and we're gonna get the SBC clamps installed here and then get everything else together and go play out in the sun for the first time in a while tomorrow. So I'm super excited and uh, yeah, let's dive into it. So in case you haven't seen these before, this is Precision's anti-vibe setup. This is a very proven setup. They've been around for a long time. They're affordable. They're definitely worth having. I'd say to anybody, if you don't have any anti-vibe stuff, I definitely recommend getting anti-vibe. Essentially, your handlebar slides through the housing here. I'm not too sure how the internals work, but it can move on one axis up and down, but also in independently of each other. When you're riding and you have a hard impact, these really do subtly save you over time and keep your fatigue levels down. First, I'm gonna take everything off this side, and then I think I'm gonna take the clamps off so I can move everything around. I wanna to try to not have to take all this off of the handlebars. So that easily loosened up the bars. Now I'm gonna loosen up the clamps, and hopefully I can slide all this out without having to take this off. Come on. So I'm gonna pull the clamps. Yes. All right, here's your precision anti-vibe clamps. And then another part people don't see on here very often would be this precision steering stem. Uh, I don't think it's a very common stem. Not, a lot of people don't have them, but uh, super quality products. All right, uh, I've got both clamps here. This is actually an updated version of the Ramosi SBC. I haven't seen these yet. He also has a new branding on his stuff, which looks super sharp. And you can just see the difference in this, uh, what the handlebars are encased in. So it's actually really cool how these assemble too. So let's get started here. All right, I'm gonna try to just hold this in front of the camera so you guys can see. I wanna say this should just pull out. Ramosi has two different kinds of interchangeable rubber inserts. Uh, the other color, which is blue, is a firmer setup, but uh, he recommends the yellow for the quads. The other setup's more for the bikes. I pop this out now. I haven't done this in a little while. And then uh, this is our mounting point, which will go into here, but that's not all. So here's some of the adapter plates he provides. This would be for the Raptor 700 stock steering stem. This is a pretty similar layout to the stock stem, so that's why I grabbed this plate. He also, I wanna say, makes a slightly different adapter for the YFC 450 stem. If you're running a traditional anti-vibe stem, which would have its own little rubber inserts to provide damping on the stem, you would get this setup from Ramosi, and it comes with these metal cones that'll cancel out those rubber inserts and make your, your aftermarket anti-vibe stem rigid, and then you'll have all your damping through the SBC. If you were to just leave that, the whole setup would get just way too spongy. I don't think you would feel very connected to the machine. The other thing, too, is these adapter plates have this little ridge on it. The clamps have a little ridge, too. This lines up in here. And then that way these can't twist. It helps keep everything aligned. This actually is gonna thread into this middle. This has got threads in it. And then this is what's gonna bolt to the steering stem. And it should all line up really nicely. All right, just a slight little mix up here. I forgot that I'm pretty sure the stock stem has threads in it. This is the hardware he gave me to mount the plate to the stem, but it's not very long and I have no threads in here. So thankfully I found four of these longer bolts that'll work just fine. I've got nuts for them. So thankfully I had the hardware. Uh, if I wouldn't have, because it's late at night, I would have had to put it all back together and no SBC for me. So I can finally put this back on. getting more fun. So now we gotta get the handlebars in here. So now we're gonna put our rubber inserts on. 
You want these with the ridge on the inside. I'm going to slide that in, make sure it's fitting in all the grooves. I'm going to spin it so that that crack is on the bottom and held together by the bottom teeth. That way it doesn't split on me. All right, now this is going to go on here. And then this whole thing, we got to line it up. It's going to slide in just like that. Looks like we're pretty close. It's about where my normal height would be. So he provides this insert that goes in here. And you're probably wondering how you did this part. Snaps in and that pushes everything out and gets it all into its proper aligned spot. Without this, uh, it's just kind of hard to get everything symmetrical. Plus it's cool because he's got these little cutouts so you can still see your measurements after you get it in there. So I'm looking pretty much spot on. Inside four are 15 foot pounds and the outside are 10. I would popped this thing out, but I noticed uh, things weren't quite lined up. So I would keep this in here while you're tightening it down. There's one. Two, three, four. All right, so here's some footage of the SBC in slow motion and how they work. Um, essentially, you've got 360 degree damping going side to side, up and down, and then also twisting back as well as twisting forward. So I actually really noticed these working a lot when you come down from a jump and land hard on one tire, you'll really feel the bars move. But uh, this is pretty much damping in all directions and that would be the main difference between this setup versus the precision setup that I took off the machine. So that's not to take away from the precision clamps by any means, they still are super effective. Uh, I just wanted you guys to see the main differences in performance between both of them. Super nice heavy duty bar pad. This is actually like made to take an impact. It's not cheap foam. It's all custom form made. He's got multiple colors you can get for your accent color. Feed this through. Dude, I have SBC on my Raptor. <laughs> that is crazy. The bar pad looks awesome too. I love it. Thank you, Robert. Okay, I've got this project buttoned up. I'm super glad I had the hardware to finish it. Huge shout out to Ramosi again for getting me set up. Uh, also super glad that I moved this control switch over because now the horn is right there. It's so much easier. I couldn't even reach it before. So now I'm going to be a rebel with the horn. I don't know what I'm more excited about. This or, no, I'm just kidding. I'm so excited about the SBC. And like I had said, these are available on PeteHager.com. And I also am super excited to announce that we have the Resto Quad headlights on our site now. And you guys can pick them up from us. So... This whole kit is super cool. I love how it all works. I uh, got the blinkers installed and everything on mine. We are super excited to have the Resto Quad parts on our site. So huge shout out to them. They make some quality products and they've got some cool stuff in the works coming. So I guess the next step now would be to get loaded up and to go riding. Okay, it is the next day. Uh, bit of a hiccup this morning. I didn't realize my battery was dead. So I actually grabbed another battery. Uh, just to get me through the day here, I got the other one on the charger, so that was my bad. I'm just rolling up here, so I see some of the guys, and we're going to get unloaded, and it should be a good time. What is going on here? This is weird. He just wanted to use his new winch. going to pull him up the hill so he can push it. <laughs> All right. So you didn't sell this thing? Nope. No. No. For sale. It's on, the, it's on the marketplace right now. It had zero clicks. Zero clicks. Zero. He got lucky. That barely started. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at this. This is Chad's new 250R. Came all the way from Washington State. It's got floats on the front. Very aftermarket. Like the tires that are on there, he said they're stock LTR tires. Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna unload it because he doesn't want to get it dirty. Isn't that the case sometimes? 
but uh, I end up holding up the show, so I think we're getting ready to finally ride. I am not bringing my backpack. We're doing a ride. No bonus filming at the moment. I just want to get out and play, dust off the cobwebs. I got the 360 camera on Chad. warm up a little more it's still kind of cold oh this is normally flooded cool dude it's been years since this has been rideable wow rule number one at the beginning of the season take your time for the first uh you know little ride out because that's when accidents happen Awesome. I'm excited. Keep easing into it. Chad's getting after it on the Renegade. I think I'm already noticing some of the SBC. You feel the bars rotate forward. It's not a bad feeling by any means, but it just it just really does subtly take some of those finer hits out. We already lost him. I'm staying with the 360 camera. Whoa. Dude, he's getting after it. He had BNR redo the shocks on that, and I've got to ride it. Maybe we'll get on it today. He said it was night and day. SBC through. Some choppy stuff there. They're such an interesting product because you don't really notice them working until you focus on it. Like if I focus on how my hands feel going through stuff that's jittery, choppy, it's, it's almost like a marshmallow type feeling, but there's still enough firmness to feel like I'm in control. Chad. Yeah, let's go over there. They they must have been in the middle. Yeah, they could have been, yeah. On the other side of the guardrail. Let's see what this is all about. It's so funny we lost them in like two minutes. A little tacky in the woods. Is 
this thing recording? Uh, red light again? Yep. Take off. Oh, there's Jim right there. Back up there or what? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna wait up here. I'm gonna go watch. I turned that thing on. I'm gonna turn it off. Pleasantly surprised. All right. My 
lack of riding is starting to show. Core, lower back. We are making our way back and we're gonna do one more kind of run through the opposite direction because our field perimeter is a little soggy. Might be a little tacky. Cross the little bridge. Oh, so muddy there. This guardrail separates the park. Really helps limit cross traffic. It'd be nuts in here without it. What a nice spring ride. 60 degrees, warmed up really good, sun's poking out. My late start ended up being kind of nice because it was a lot warmer. Oh, there's our mud. Nice.
man. Great riding. Raptor. Wow, he's dipping. They're both dipping. Very happy with the SBC. I think it helped me a lot today, especially with how out of shape I am. I'm glad I moved this too, because now I can use my turn signals. that he got on a set of used tires so thank you Chad I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet but I'll find a use and maybe we'll powder coat them who knows it was also great to see the leases they came with their bikes Ted was there with his DS and a buddy of his rode his Raptor 700 so thank you to everybody that came and rode with us I also had a follower come up with his dad and say hi so thank you guys for coming up and saying hi I really appreciate that the park was kind of busy but there was no side-by-sides how sweet is that it was actually Kind of like the old days so super fun to get out and tear the place up it was drier than we expected we could actually ride the majority of the park which is nuts it's march 2nd this is crazy this is this is not common at all so i'm glad we went out and took advantage of it once again huge shout out to Ramosi for getting me the sbc clamps it was fun to really focus on them while i was riding and to just feel the moments when that like disconnect helped my fatigue uh, it's, it's like I've said before so many times, it's a very natural feeling riding with them. You don't notice that they're helping you, but then as soon as you spend a section or two focusing on what your hands are doing, you just, you kind of feel the little subtle movements here and there, and it's just, all of that adds up. Uh, I would be way more sore right now on my upper back if it wasn't for those being on there. I know I would be because it happens every year on the first ride. I'm always just wrecked. So I felt like uh, I was more prepared today and it's just awesome to see those anti-vibe products doing their job and helping me get more out of my riding, which is what you get when you buy some of those things. So I highly recommend them. Hauser is doing their Pro Bounce nerfs for the Raptor 700. This is a big deal. I talked to a guy a couple years ago that paid $1,000 for a set of older uh, new stock Hauser Pro Bounce nerfs for a Raptor because I saw them on his machine and I said, do you want to sell those? And he said, no, I'm telling you, if you suffer from any knee pain, if you have sore, sore wrists, just things that, uh, whether it's an old injury or you're just older in general, I mean, this is, this is a very demanding sport and it takes its toll on our bodies and getting some of these parts like the stabilizer, any type of anti-vibe, whether there are mostly clamps, flex bars, the precision anti-vibe, anti-vibe stems. And then the only product I know of that has foot damping is those Pro Bounce pegs. And here all my contact points with the machine are gonna be taken care of. It's a smoother ride, it doesn't beat me up as much. I could beat a dead horse about it, but they are worth their weight in gold and I 100% recommend getting those products. If you ride all the time, they'll make you safer, they'll make you stronger and you'll just have more fun and ride at a higher level it doesn't get much better than that so I'm gonna quit doing my sales pitch on all these parts that I love to have that make my riding experience better I hope you guys enjoyed today's video super fun to get out like I said I cannot wait to ride more we've got some fun trips that are in the works some big stuff some new destinations some uh, new experiences coming soon so hoping to get some more content out here shortly and I guess until the next one I hope you guys had fun watching today you guys ride safe and we'll see you on the next one Anyway, I seen the toast, you guys. You got a small one. Don't scratch it. Don't scratch it. Hold it up. Go. Yeah, go ahead. Six guys. Whoa. Look at that.
first ride on the dirt?